welcome to your trombone lesson and your sound innovations book on page nine. This is the page where we really, really start getting into a lot of songs. Let me just check something real quick behind me here. I just need to get a book out. Sorry, just a moment. I think it's right there. Good, because one of my songs gets cut off at the bottom of the page, as you can see on this. So I just want to make sure that I've got that up in turn two. Okay, so this page has a lot of new songs in it. Not much new, no new notes. Don't have to worry about that. Just a few new definitions that we'll talk through as we get to them. But we're going to start right out with a nice song of Merrily Roll Along or Mary Had a Little Lamb, depending on how you like to think of this song. Here we go, number 23. We're going to take these songs a little bit slower because there is a lot of moving around, so I want to make sure you get good at that. On your own, work on speeding them up, maybe playing them a little bit faster, but you don't have to. So here we go, merrily we roll along a little bit slower. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Make sure those two first position F's that you have in the middle, ta, ta, ta. Make sure you get your R nice and fast so you can get up to those. That's the only thing that might give you a little bit of trouble is getting that practice. Get that air super fast so you can get up to that. All right, number 24, Eau Claire de la Lune. This one stays a little bit lower, and it only uses your first three notes, I believe. Yep, only your first three notes. So just your B flat in first position, your C in sixth, and your D in fourth. So here we go, Eau Claire de la Lune. Starts in first position. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Again, remember, please, especially now that we're starting to get into more songs, you're not going to get through it the first time. I guarantee you're not going to get through it the first time. Take your time. Go back. Pause the video. I know I sound like a broken record, but you want to make sure you pause the video. Go back and practice the song a couple times or back up the video and practice along with me. Back it up and keep practicing along with me. You could even just listen to it a time or two just so you can kind of follow along in your book to see how it sounds. All right? So we got three new things now. You've got common time. So up until now, our time signature, if you remember that little fraction, four over four, we've been using that as our time signature. Common time, it means the same thing. It looks like this little fancy C. Anytime you see that little fancy C, that just means you're playing in four four. But it is called common time. The next thing we're gonna see looks like a little bird's eye. It's called a fermata. A fermata in band, it means you hold out the note longer than it's written. So if you see a fermata on a whole note, you might hold the note out for five, six, seven beats. In band, when I'm conducting along, you're just gonna see me hold my hands out like this, and then I'll tell you when to stop. But when you're playing on your own, just hold it out a little bit longer. Like when we're practicing here, you're gonna just hear me hold that note out just a little bit longer than normal. The last thing is a composer. You will always see the composer's name in the top right hand corner. So if you're playing a whole page of music, if you look on the top right, it will show you the composer. Or in this book, you'll see over here, if you look down at the next song, Jingle Bells, you'll see right there on the top right of the song, James Lord Pierpont is the composer of Jingle Bells. So that will help you know who wrote the song. So speaking of Jingle Bells, let's look at Jingle Bells. And we're not far off from that season of playing it, which is great. Again, we're going to take this one kind of slow. 
But again, have fun with this one and try to speed it up as you get better at it. Try to see how fast you can play it while still sounding good. But for right now, to get it down, we're going to play it slow. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Jingle Bell. So as I said, work on trying to speed that up a little bit. All right, go tell Aunt Rhody, number 26. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> careful of is in the middle of the song going from here to there from that first position B flat up to that F first position you want to keep your air slow for the B flat then make it super fast or faster to get up to that F you might have to make your squish your lips a little bit more and make them a little bit tighter to help you get up to that F and getting louder will help too so going from that low B flat first position up to that F, get a little bit louder, make your air a bit faster, and that'll help you pop right up to it. All right, number 27, Lightly Row. There is a repeat at the end of this. We're not going to worry about doing the repeat right now. We're just going to do the song through once. First time through, I want you to play line A, and I'm going to play line B. So here we go. Lightly Row, you play line A. One, two, ready, go. switch it up. Now the thing you can always do in these two, and I forgot to mention on the previous page in that duet, but if you want to practice along with me, when I say I'm playing line B or line A, you can play along and play that line, and once you get good at that, you can flip it so that you're playing line A when I'm playing B and I'm playing line A while you're playing B. So lots of ways to practice this one. Now remember, because when you're doing line A, it starts on that high F, so you want to get that Sorry about that. It starts on that high F, so you want to get that air fast enough. So here we go. Now you're going to play line B, and I'm going to play line A. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> So you can flip it around and practice it those different ways. Now my book cut off a little bit for Good King Wenceslas, so I'm going to look down at that in my book real quick. But what you're going to see is you're going to see the word tutti. Tutti means everybody plays together. So solo is when one person plays, tutti is when everybody plays. So I want to look at Good King Wenceslas. We're going to ignore the solo and tutti. I just want you to play it all the way through. All right, so here we go. Good King Wenceslas. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Take your time. There is a ton of playing on this page, a lot of things to practice. 
But now that you're getting into songs, I think it makes it a little more fun. So really take your time on this page. It might take you a couple weeks to get through it. Just as I always say, that's okay. If it takes you a week to get through it, great. If it takes you four weeks to get through it, great. The key is eventually you're gonna get through it, all right? So do not move on to page 10 until you get really good at this page, but once you do, move on to page 10.